We are making an apple cinnamon oatmeal bake today. I've heard a lot about it and I finally thought I'd jump on the bandwagon and try it out. So we have tons of apples in this apple bake. I don't know, when I see your apple recipe and then I look at the amount of apples in it and there's only like one apple, I feel shortchanged, right? Like, if you make an apple recipe and there's only one apple, is it apple in it? Is it really an apple recipe? <laughs> you guys are gonna love it. Um, the whole house smells like apple pie. <laughs> your whole house is gonna smell like apple pie. Just trust me on this. And it's so simple. What I love about it is it's basically like the way you make your oatmeal is just baked and it's, you know, it doesn't involve any baking soda, baking powder, any of that. So I love that. So anyways, let's get into the video and I'll show you guys how I made it. So you want to start off with two cups of rolled oats. Just one. And I'm actually going to use some quick oats because I'm almost out of I'm almost out of uh, rolled oats. So I'm going to do the rest of quick oats. Okay, so that's two cups of that. I'm going to add in some pumpkin pie spice, about a half a tablespoon. I don't measure when I put in spices. About a tablespoon of cinnamon. Some apples. I've got four small apples. I'm going to put in two big tablespoons of cashew butter. This is going to act as our butter. If you're okay with some butter, which I use sometimes as well, you can put in three tablespoons of butter. I'm going to do a quarter cup of plant milk. in here two flax eggs and then we want to throw in our sweetener so I'm using raw honey you could use whatever sweetener you want you can also use maple butter all together Just kind of make sure to melt your sweetener because my sweetener is a little thick so So like I said, four small diced apples. I'm adding a ton of apples in here, but you only need about one to two apples. But like I said, on the apple recipe, I wanna make sure that I have tons of apples. That's how you want it. You can take your pan. Just pour the mixture to your pan. All right, it's time for taste test. Okay. So, 
All right. True test taste. Wow. <laughs> this actually is really good. I'm impressed. I never thought I was gonna like baked oatmeal. I just thought it was weird, but it's worth a try. I could throw even some more. Let's say throw some nutmeg in here. If I threw in a little bit more nutmeg. If I throw in some nutmeg. Like, you know. This is my breakfast. It's rainy outside. Actually, it just stopped raining. Does it still rain outside, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like drizzling, but <laughs> I am starting my morning off with some apples, flax, oatmeal. I'm content. So I hope you guys will try this wonderful dish. Have your whole house smelling like apple pie, and it's so healthy. Um, it's great to make the day before and then warm up a slice for breakfast the next day. Um, it's just wonderful. So I'm going to eat off this for breakfast for probably the next few days. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to have a great day. Rainy days are kind of special. Like, I don't know. I feel all cozy in my office and sometimes I'll have on like some <laughs> Irish Christian music or like some, just like some instrumental music. It feels so cozy. So anyways, I will see you guys soon. I hope you subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you if you've already subscribed. I got some more coming for you, and I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.